This beast, the Bugmeister RC505 Mark II. There's on there, but I need to get 1.2 on there. And here's where I get hung up. So you go to boss, you get the files, you answer yes to the questions, get download them on your computer. Um, and then put it over here in the C drive and oh, I wanted to show you a step. So let's extract all these babies. Extract button comes up. This is Windows. Tell where you want to put it. I don't want to put it in there. Let's go browse. I want to put it in my driver land. Where the 1.2 is. There we go. Select that. Brink. And extract. So there they are. Everybody is extracted. Now here's the thing. It says don't rename them and don't change them and don't do all that and then move them over to the RC505 via the USB. So next thing you need to do is uh, you can check to see if you need to update. Oh, the little lights. Loop station, RC505. Oh, but if you want to check it, see, this is where it gets silly. So turn it back off. Doesn't say, it's really stupid. See ya. Oh, look at that. You can barely even do it with one hand, which is stupid. Hold the menu button, the power switch. Look at that. It's version 1.1. I thought I had 1.5, but eh, whatever. So, and then turn it back off, it says. That's the button in the back. It's not real convenient. Look, it doesn't even say see ya. How inconsistent is that? I hate software. Some of them used to come with cables, some of them didn't. That goes. And it says on the top USB, it only goes in one way. It's kind of keyed. And I like to make connections when stuff is powered off. So let's go over here to do one of these, by the way. Put it directly in. Just to make sure you don't muck up the data flow. All right. Oh, these are my friends. That's Ellie Alien. That's my guitar buddy. It's a Loch Ness Monster Lake Champion, and that is a. Don't stop leaving. Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, this is. Uh, this is Area 51, by the way. Do it. Hold the exit button and turn on the power. Well, that's a little easier because it's on the same side. It says. It says. Connected. Well, that's good. That's it. Here's all the files. Hit. I'm going to keep them on my... I'm not going to drag and drop. Oop. I don't want that. They're in the root one. See, they're in the root. You don't have to check some. They're text files. I mean, we do it the same way with our our systems. Check some of the text. Um, now... That's in the root file, and you hit exit, disconnect, update there. Finally, see how it works. Um, and you hit enter. Where do you hit enter? There it is. There's one next to it. I wish these buttons were bigger and different. That's stupid. So hit enter. Now it's actually doing it. Don't turn it off and don't disconnect it because then you end up with a brick, we call it at work. People brick cameras, you know, hundreds of dollars. People brick MP3 players, and I'd hate to brick a RC505 Bugmeister.
Mark II, aka. So this is real time, so what it's doing. It seems to be updating. Oop, Jeopardy would have won because it's still updating. You had to get your answers in in time. All right, while it's doing that, this is a little quick overview here. Org. Zoom. I love this because it's like a whole rack of pedals, but it's just one. That thing there lets me take the microcorg. And it has the oomph to power the MIDI merger. And it takes the output from my foot pedals, which doesn't have the oomph to power the MIDI merger. That's the only complaint I've had of this thing. So it merges those two guys in, comes out of there, goes to this beauty. I'll talk about this someday. Laugh for music. I saw this advertised. Oop, it goes to furnace. Um, Separio. Separo. So that thing lets you uh, do different programs to drive out MIDI commands. So if I'm playing live on stage and stuff, I have that those outputs go into a motif in a rack. Let's see, I get this motif here. And then the bass pedals and the microcorp drive the motif and the lab for music gives you quick, 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 quick patch selections. Oh, looks like this thing's not. So that I'll talk about this stuff more later. Oh dink. Please turn off power. Alright, so we can turn it off. Again, it doesn't say see ya. Very consistent. So let's hold menu and hit the power again. Check the version. Oh shit, didn't do it. I let it power up. Make sure that that load works. Oh geez, it's taking longer this time. Great. We really did something with the software. It's taking much longer to load. And there's one of my patches. Let's turn it off. I still got to see with the silly lights. Hold menu and hit the power button. There it is, version 1.2, build date, 0103, whatever that is, version or something, I don't know. But we got the new software, yay! All right, so we review. Closed it. Oh, because I turned it off. In the root, the root of the, um, file explorer there computer you hit exit this is as clear as mud isn't it folks and power and it's just preparing updater connected we're not going to update it this time but just to show you where it oh look and look they disappeared isn't that funny this is part of my confusion land of confusion turn this one off i know this isn't working for uh my youtube friends but so you're going to see it when you connect it, it's right there. Don't put it in a row and put it in the very tippity top. Extract them all first. That's again what hangs hangs people up. You can't just dump them over there zipped. I, I know that's intuitive, the software guys, but I'm a hardware guy. It's not intuitive. I tried to put the whole thing in there once. And there you go. And once it's done, it pulls them out of the root. You can see that. Puts them into this land. And they're not too old. It was May. So, yeah, that's the new stuff. Data and the WAV files. Again, that's all May. So, if you looked there before we updated, those wouldn't have been May. They would have been some other date. So, I hope that helps somebody.